Today I'm going to show you the best Discord bots you could have on your server, and I'm going to go from moderation bots, to leveling bots, to utility bots, and to all the fun bots that people like to use. So to start off, the core of a Discord server is moderation. Now there are three main moderation bots that I kind of want to talk about. The first one is Dino. Now Dino is very, very simple. I mean, I made a tutorial on how to use it, but in general I feel like Dino is very simple. It has a lot of free features, and it doesn't try to bait you into buying premium. You can use Dino completely free and be completely satisfied with it. The only con with Dino that I actually found was that the custom commands for Dino, if you want to do any customization, uh, it's really bad. It's not very intuitive, uh, there's not a lot of depth to it. I personally think it's just not the best bot to go to if you want to do custom commands but it is a great and fantastic place to start for any new server owner. In fact, I mainly use Dino for my server. Now next up is Carlbot. Now Carlbot's kind of on the middle of this scale. It has a little bit of a learning curve and it does have a little bit of customization that you can do. The only unfortunate thing about Carlbot is that it has some pretty weak custom commands just like Dino. Um, I find that it's not really useful to try and figure it out. It's probably just better to use an alternative. And uh, I found that a lot of Carlbot features can kind of bait you into buying premium. Once again, I hate bots that try to make you buy premium and force you to buy premium to do very basic features. And I think Carlbot's, you know, it's not getting super close to that kind of extreme, but it is kind of teetering between trying to get you to buy premium with some very straightforward features. Now, if you really want to go off in the deep end and literally have a bot that you will never need to change from, use Yeg PDB or yet another general purpose Discord bot. Yeg has a very, very steep learning curve. Um, it's, it's difficult to understand what's going on. To be fair, this learning curve is based on custom commands because Yeg has amazing custom command support. Uh, you could literally do almost anything on it. Um, a lot of my server uses a ton of Yeg custom commands to do a whole bunch of little fun things. I personally find that Yeg is really 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 powerful and a lot of the features you don't even need to pay premium for i'm talking custom commands the amount of custom commands the only premium part of yeg involves custom commands and it's a very niche topic that most people don't even have to worry about so it's a fantastic free bot has a lot of depth and is great if you actually want to start tinkering with discord bots now next up, I'm going to talk about leveling bots, and leveling bots are very important for your Discord server because it entices people to actually chat and communicate and just increase engagement on your server. Um, starting off, we have Me6. Don't use this bot, it sucks. Um, basically, the reason why everyone hates it is because all the basic features are locked behind premium. So you start off with the bare minimum with Me6, you get used to it, you have your levels on it, and you don't want to give up those levels, so you kind of get pigeonholed into buying premium, which is extremely expensive and not worth it. Trust me, I have a pretty big server, I think 13,000 members, and Me6 still isn't worth it, so please don't use this bot. Now next up in leveling, there is Arcane. Now Arcane is, one, I think it's just the better version of Me6. You have a lot of free features. Um, you know, you can do all the leveling things you want to do. I actually have a full in-depth tutorial on Arcane uh, somewhere. You know, I'll have the little link thing on YouTube. Regardless, though, I think it is a fantastic place to start. And finally, just like the trend that we followed in moderation bots, you can go off a little bit in the deep end to get Amari bot. Now, Amari bot, you'd be surprised. It's actually extremely easy to use. It's just not as refined as Arcane or Me6. A lot of the commands are done actually just through text. It's not through a web interface but it's a fantastic free option. Now, the one thing I really want to support with Amari Bot is that you can spend five bucks and get premium forever, which is great. And the thing about premium is that it doesn't really unlock a whole lot. It just unlocks a couple extra features that really isn't, you know, it's not required for a server. You can completely use Amari for free and just go with that. But if you want to support the developers, you can spend that five bucks. I mean, I did because it, it's a great bot. Now next up are utility bots. Now utility bots basically just make all the backend stuff of owning a server a lot easier. I'm going to start off with tickets. Personally people ask if I prefer mod mail or tickets and I think tickets are just uh, better and they're more cohesive for a discord server so I try to stick with those. Um, in terms of ticket bots you can use ticket tool. Ticket tools okay. I mean there are a lot of features that are locked behind premium but you can completely work with the free version. Although recently there's been a massive bug or something and 
basically my server is just a complete mess because Ticket Tool decided to just stop working out of the blue. But, you know, that's kind of what happens sometimes. Um, you can also use Ticket's bot, which, uh, you know, probably will be slightly better than Ticket Tool because it'll actually function. Now, next up are anti-raid bots. Now, anti-raid bots are basically required for any Discord server once you get past, like, 100 or 200 members because at some point you're going to step on someone's toes, or if you're very friendly, someone else might step on someone else's toes, and you just gotta deal with the repercussions, because of course everyone on Discord is a child and can't control their emotions like a normal human being. So regardless, there are two options. We have the easy option, BMO. You literally just add the bot, you run through the very basic setup, and you just forget about it. And there you go. Anyone who's trying to mass join your server with bots, all the bots will be kicked and banned, there you go, you didn't have to do anything about it, just very basic setup. Now while BMO is actually quite easy to use, uh, WIC, on the other hand, is the complete opposite. WIC is very hard to use, and it requires a very specific server setup. Now, basically, if you're gonna use WIC, just get rid of any auto-moderation bot, you will lose out on a lot of features, but that will prevent things from clashing into each other and blowing up your whole server. Ah, uh, what a mess. Well, I personally use BMO because it's just really straightforward and I'm an idiot. Well, now you got your server set up, and it's time to add in your gimmick bots. The gimmick bots are basically bots that you add so people stay more engaged with your server and stay on it, yada yada yada. I, honestly, I don't know why people add these bots, but apparently it's a requirement. So, anyways, the first one is Dank Memer. Of course, it's a classic. Uh, a lot of people use it, a lot of people find it fun. And it has a global economy, so that means if you earn points or money on one server, you can go to another server and redeem points on there. So, like, it just kind of makes sense if you include this, because it'll encourage people to talk on your server. And finally, there's a woe, and that's going to be taken out of context, and I'm going to hate myself for saying it. But a woe is basically an animal battling game. You can uh, type in stuff, you can fight your friends, and uh, yeah, you know, it's just things that people do when they can't you know go on their computer and play a, a game that is mentally stimulating anyways uh that's not to diss on any of these developers because the amount of work they put into these plugins are insane and something i could never do regardless those are the kind of the best bots to set up for your discord server at least from my experience if you have any other recommendations obviously throw them in the comments because man i love getting free engagement on my videos uh no but anyways Please, if you have a really good bot that you want me to look at, throw it in the comments because I'm running out of video ideas, okay? So I'm going to need all the support I can get. Regardless, uh, I'm going to go drink some water because that's just good for you, <laughs> obviously. And uh, you should drink some water too. Keep yourself hydrated, sweetheart. Anyways, have a fantastic Sunday or Monday or whenever you watch this video. I love you. Mwah!